things may be a little different, but you can be sure that here at So You Think You Know Sports, we're still going to bring you another season of the best and only sports game show here on ICTV. We've got brand new contestants, a long list of questions, and a fresh format sure to spice things up. I'm sure you'll get used to it, but for now, let's stick to what we've always been good at here at Cy Tykes, sports trivia. We're going to start off with our first jump ball. Contestants, raise your hand if you think you know the answer to this one. Who did the Yankees beat in the 2020 AL wildcard round? We're going to go with Jeremy. The Cleveland Indians. And that is correct. So be sure to sit tight. So You Think You Know Sports starts right now. Welcome back to a brand new episode of So You Think You Know Sports. I'm your host, Brennan Miller. And well, to go along with the new edition of our show, that means a brand new set of players will be facing off. So let's get to some introductions. Player one is Jeremy Goldstein. Jeremy, you just won the jump ball, and I believe you've been on the show before. So how does it feel to be back in action? Well, I was on a practice cast last semester and was supposed to be on the next show, but, you know, it happened. So, but I'm happy to get an opportunity this semester, and I'm pretty confident in my skills. Good to hear. Uh, his competition this evening will be player number two, Jacob Armstrong. And, uh, Jacob, this is your first ever appearance on the show? No practice cast, anything like that? No, um, I'm excited. I think I'm ready. All right, good for competition, for sure. And our third and final contestant, Ethan Birch. Ethan, I saw earlier that you had some Mets gear in your background. So uh, who are you rooting for in this year's MLB playoffs? Um, I'm a big New York guy, so I'm hoping the Yankees win. Not necessarily liking that Yankees fans, but I'm rooting for the Yankees. All right, well, now that the niceties are out of the way, let's compete. The game to start off our season will be one of our favorites starting lineup. The rules for starting lineup are simple. Each contestant takes turns naming items of a selected category, with each answer being worth 25 points. Each contestant is given one wrong answer, and then they are eliminated. So, Jeremy, you won the jump ball, so we will start with you. Our category, our first category, will be the last 20 Heisman Trophy winners. I'll go with Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, obviously the most recent one. Now starting quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals. And that is correct. We're going to go to Ethan for the next answer. Uh, I am going to go with Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, yes. He was right before Joe Burrow and one of four Oklahoma quarterbacks on this list. That is also correct. Jacob, to you. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, yes. With Louisville in 2016, won the Heisman. Back to Jeremy. Go with Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota, Oregon, 2014 is correct. Ethan, you. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, one of four Oklahoma quarterbacks as well. That is a correct answer. And to Jacob. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram is correct. Alabama running back from 2009. One of three running backs to win the Heisman in the last 20 years. All the way back around. Jeremy, you're up. Go with Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel out of Texas A&M in 2012 is correct. Ethan. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson was already said, so that's going to be it for you in this round. We're going to head to Jacob. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, of course, Tim Tebow in 2007 with the Florida Gators won the Heisman. Jeremy, back to you. Go with RG3. RG3, yes. In 2011, the Baylor Bears quarterback. To Jacob. Cam Newton. Cam Newton, also correct. Auburn in 2010 with the Heisman. Jeremy. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram, he was already said, so that is going to eliminate you. Oh, Jacob, if you can keep going, then you can earn as many points as possible here. There are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten answers remaining on the board. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, you're done? All right. The ones you guys missed, Derek Henry out of Alabama in 2015. Jameis Winston, the year he stole crab legs in 2013, also won the Heisman. Sam Bradford, Troy Smith out of Ohio State. Matt Leinert, one of two USC quarterbacks. Jason White in 2004, one of the four Oklahoma quarterbacks to win the Heisman in the last 20 years. Carson Palmer, 
Eric Crouch, Chris Weimke, and Ron Dane out of Wisconsin in 2000. So there were 10 answers left on the board there. And with that, we will move to our second category. Starting lineup number two, the last 20 NBA scoring champions. And this list goes all the way back to 1976. So we've got some repeats. We're going to start with Jeremy. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony in 2013, a one-time winner, and that is correct. Let's go to Ethan. Kevin Durant. KD. That is correct. 2014, 2012, 2011, and 2010. Jacob. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, of course, 98, 97, 96, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, and 87. Uh, so he was pretty dominant. And really the reason that this list goes all the way back to 1976. Back around, Jeremy, you're up. James Harden. James Harden, three years, 20, 19, 18. Yes. Ethan. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Let me look on the list here. No. No Reggie Miller on that list. I think he might have gotten uh, displaced there by Jordan in the 90s. So nothing for Reggie Miller. And Ethan, you're going to be eliminated with that one. Jacob, to you. Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady, yes. Two years, 04 and 03. Jeremy. Kobe. Kobe, again, two years, 2007, 2006, back-to-back -back scoring championships. Jacob. Larry Bird. Larry Bird, no Larry Bird in this list. So, Jeremy, if you can keep racking them up, you can earn as many points as possible here. 14 answers still on the board. Did Kevin Garnett win one? Kevin Garnett, no, he did not. So that's going to be it for that list. The ones you missed, Russell Westbrook in 2017, 2015, Steph Curry, uh, 16, Dwayne Wade, no, nine, LeBron, only one time in 2008, uh, AI, Allen Iverson, uh, in 2005, 2001, 1999, Shaq, David Robinson, Dominique Wilkins, Bernard King, Adrian Dantley, Alex English, George Gervin, Pete Maravich, and Bob McAdoo were the ones left on that list. So let's move to our third and final starting lineup question. The top 20 teams in women's college basketball at the end of the 2019-2020 season. We're going to start with Jeremy. University of South Carolina. South Carolina was number one. So, yes, they are definitely on that list. Ethan. UConn. UConn, number five. Or, excuse me. Yeah, number five. Number five on that list. So, yes, you're correct. Jacob. Notre Dame. Notre Dame does not look like it. Must have dropped out of the top 20. So, no on the Notre Dame there. We're going to go to Jeremy. Go the Syracuse Orange. Syracuse, not in the top 20 Ooh. either but projected to be in the top 20 this year. Uh, so Jeremy and Jacob both eliminated Ethan. This is your chance to earn back some of those points. Oregon? Oregon, number two in the country, yes. North Carolina. North Carolina. No North Carolina. There is NC State sitting at number eight, but no North Carolina, so that's going to do it. You guys miss Baylor, Maryland, Louisville, Stanford, NC State, Mississippi State. UCLA, Northwestern, Arizona, Gonzaga, Oregon State, DePaul, Kentucky, South Dakota. Oh, good, go for the Jackrabbits. Uh, Texas A&M, Florida State, and Indiana. So after starting lineups, lineup, excuse me, it seems like Jeremy may have used that jump ball win to get a little bit of an edge. Let's see if our other two contestants can make a comeback in our second game, Leaders in the Clubhouse. But before that, we do another jump ball, so be sure to raise your hand. Which NFL team most recently changed their name? Ethan. The Washington football team. That is correct. The most recent name change in the NFL, the Washington football team. And now we're going to get into our next game, the aforementioned leaders in the clubhouse. The rules are as follows. In this game, each player will try and compete, complete a top six list. Each player is allowed two incorrect answers. And once a player gets two answers wrong, our other players can try and compete or complete the board. So, Ethan, we're going to start with you. Can you name the top six European football clubs with the most championship league title? Liverpool. Liverpool is number four. Barcelona. Barcelona, yes, number five on the list. Real Madrid. 
Real Madrid, yes, they're number one with 13. Three left on the board. Um, Man Manchester United? Manchester United is not on the list, so you have one more chance with three left. Um, um, Man City. Man City, no, that's not going to be on that list. So to decide who gets to try and finish off this list, we're going to do another quick jump ball. Who is starting tonight in the Yankees? Versus for the New York Yankees in the Yankees versus Rays playoff series, Jeremy Garrett Cole is Garrett Cole. So you're going to have a chance to finish off this list. European football clubs with the most championship champions league titles, Real Madrid, Liverpool, and FC Barcelona have all been taken already. There's three left on the board. Is Chelsea one? Chelsea is not one. So you have one more chance. Bayern Munich. Munich is on the list. They're third with six Champions League titles. Uh, PSG? PSG is not. So that's going to do it for you. Jacob, there's two left on the board if you can get them. AC Milan? AC Milan is second. So they have seven Champions League titles. There is one left on the board. Napoli? It is not Napoli, unfortunately. So you have one more opportunity to try and get this sixth and final team on this list. FC Porto. It is not FC Porto. It is going to be AFC AX from the Netherlands with four Champions League titles. So we're going to move to our second leaders in the clubhouse here. The last six MVPs in the American League. Ethan, you can start. Um, we will start with Giancarlo Stanton. Not in the American League, no. So that's going to be one mistake there. Uh, the last six MVPs in the American League. Yeah, you can still go, though. Six on the board. Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson, yes, in 2015. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, yes, in 2018. Not the most recent, but the year prior. I think, um, I can't think. Uh, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. No Alex Bregman there. So that's going to be two mistakes. <laughs> And, Jerry, because I went to you in the last one, I'm going to go to Jacob second here in this one. The last MVPs in the American League, two are off the board, Mookie Betts and Josh Donaldson. There's still four available answers. Jose Altuve? Jose Altuve, yes, in 2017. Mike Trout. Yes, Mike Trout, three years in 2019, 2016, and 2014. If no one had gotten that one soon, I, I don't know what I would have done. I feel like that's one of the more obvious ones. Jacob, you're still available. You got the last two uh, MVPs in the American League from the most recent. And these guys, you know, just because it's the last six doesn't mean that it's just from six years ago. Justin Verlander? Yes, Justin Verlander. There it is from 2012. One left on the board. Alex Rodriguez? It's not Alex Rodriguez. Not that recent that he won the MVP. So you've got one strike against you. You can take one more guess at it. Jose Bautista. It's not Jose Bautista, unfortunately. Jeremy, you want to try and clean up this list for us? One name left on it. Miguel Cabrera. It is Miguel Cabrera, the year he won his triple crown. 
also won the MVP. So that'll do it for our first block, but don't worry. There will be more fast-paced sports trivia action right after the break. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, at ICTV Sports. We'll be right back. Welcome back to So You Think You Know Sports. We've made our way through the starting lineups, and as we move on to our third game, the scoreboard reads Ethan 285, Jeremy 280, and Jacob 270. So a very, very close game uh, heading into – or heading – coming out from our first break. Uh, and we'll do another jump ball before we get into our third game. So be sure to put your hands up. Who won the 2020 Stanley Cup? That's going to be Jacob first. Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay Lightning did win the Stanley Cup in their bubble playoff system. So, yes. And with that, uh, we're going to move on to Shoot Your Shot. It's one of my least favorite games, exclusively because it requires me to do math, and I am not a math guy, or else I wouldn't be sitting here in front of a camera. Uh, the rules for the game are, are as follows. Each contestant will write down their response to a statistic-based question, with each person closest to the correct answer getting the points. Each correct response is worth 10 points, and if you get it right on the dot, then you get 50 points. So I'm going to have you guys type in the chat uh, your answers as I read these questions. Shoot your shot number one. Calvin Megatron Johnson holds the record for most receiving yards in one season. How many? So as we take a look at the answers, Jacob says 1823, Ethan 1747, and Jeremy 1532. The answer to that, 1000, and Jeremy 1532. The answer to that, 1,964 receiving yards for Megatron. So Jacob, you were closest, and you're going to get 10 points for that one. Shoot your shot number two. How many points did regular season point leader – Leon Dreisaitl have in this NHL season. Dreisaitl playing for the Edmonton Oilers, and he had a hundred and. 10 points this season. Ethan said 113. Jeremy said 141. And Jacob said 109. So Jacob, by one point or two points, excuse me, you're going to earn those 10 points to put on top of your score. Shoot your shot number three. How many career playoff wins does Tom Brady have? The new quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Obviously, we know he's with the Patriots dynasty for a long, long time, probably too long. How many career playoff wins does he have? More than I'd say about 90% of, maybe 95% of the NFL's total playoff games. Uh, Ethan Birch said 46, Jeremy Goldstein 24, Jacob Armstrong said 42. The answer is 30. So Jeremy, you're going to get the points with 24, six away. 30 playoff game, 30 playoff wins. I don't know how many losses he has, but that's just a, that's like two or three seasons worth of games just exclusively in the playoffs. Number four, Mariano Rivera is the all time saves leader in the major leagues. How many total saves does he have? Quick answer there from Jeremy. I'm very confident in that one. Ethan going with the price is right method. And one more price. I love it. The first answer was Jeremy at 602. Ethan had 601. J Jacob saying 603. So it's going to be very tough for Jeremy to, to win this one if it's anything above or below 602. The answer is 652 career saves for Mariana Rivera. So Jacob's going to get the points with on that one uh, with the, well, closest to the correct answer. Our fifth question here in Shoot Your Shot, how many total regular season games does each NHL team play? 
162 in the major leagues is 16 in the NFL. How many is it in the NHL? All three with the correct answer here. It's 82 games. So I'm not sure if no one gets points or if everyone gets points. Uh, shoot your shot number six. How many gold medals has Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps won in his career? Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian for the Americans and of all time, one of the most dominant swimmers of all time. And no one else watches, you know, no one else watches swimming uh, other than the Olympics. And he's really the only person that people go out to watch. 12, 16, and 15 are our answers. Jeremy's going to get the point, so he said 16. The answer is 23 gold medals for Michael Phelps, most dominant, just dominant in his sport. And our final shoot your shot question, Eric Dickerson holds the record for most rushing yards in a season. How many yards did he have? The bespectacled Rams running back. Oh, he doesn't have most career yards, has the most yards in one season. We've got 2,048 from Jeremy, 2,204 from Ethan, and 2,140 from Jacob. The answer, 2,105 yards total. So that one, I believe, yes, goes to Jacob, 35 yards away. He's going to get the 10 points. So after shoot your shot, we want to say a big thank you to our cast and crew for taking time here on this Zoom call to uh, make sure that everything goes smoothly and be sure to check us out on Instagram at ICTV sports. We'll be right back. So we have arrived at our final showdown and after it wraps up, we will be presented with this week's winner. Right now the score stands at Jacob 360, Jeremy 350 and Ethan at 335. So still anybody's game at this point, especially in this game where you can win up to hundred points in one turn. Final showdown is a three category Jeopardy style game. Uh, and you, each category will have three questions worth 25, 50, and 100 points. Today's categories, we are the champions, women in sports, and bubble breakdown. So we did our last jump ball, our last block, and Jacob won that one. So he's gonna have first choice of the categories Jacob, which category do you want to go with? We are the champions, women in sports, or bubble breakdown, and for what point value? Do bubble breakdown 100. Bubble breakdown for 100. So I'll ask the question, and whoever's hand I see go up first gets to answer. Who owns the highest field goal percentage in the NBA bubble? Ethan. You're going to have to unmute your mic. Damian Lillard. Is not Damian Lillard. Jacob. Robert Williams. It's also not Robert Williams. Jeremy. Anthony Davis. It's not Anthony Davis. It is Giannis Atetokounmpo with the highest field goal percentage. So no one's going to get the points there. Ethan, or excuse me, Jacob will stay with you for the next category of point value. I'll do We Are the Champions 100. We Are the Champions for 100. Who won the 2020 U.S. Open Men's Singles Tennis Tournament? Ethan. Rafael Nadal. Not Rafael Nadal. Jeremy. Was it Stanley Zarenka or whatever his name is? It is not, unfortunately. I like the guess, though. Trying to get those points. And Jacob. Um, Novak Djokovic. Not Novak Djokovic. Dominic Thiem had the win there. So a rare non-win for Djokovic and Nadal. No points awarded there either. So, Jacob, again, you're going to stick with you. Final showdown. We are the champions, women in sports, or bubble breakdown? Do bubble breakdown 25. Bubble breakdown for 25. Going with the easier questions. I like it. Came out of the gate hot with those 100s, but going down to 25. Where will the 2020 World Series be played? Ethan. Globe Life Park. 
It is Globe, Globe Life Park. So, Ethan, 25 points awarded to you and choice of category and point value. Isn't it Globe Life Field? It is Globe Life Field, but I'll give it to him anyway. He had the, the right idea, you know. Ethan, okay. still going to give you the points there and which point value and category. We are the champions, women in sports or bubble breakdown. We are the champions. Is it 75 points? 50. 50. Who won the Conn Smythe Trophy in the 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs? Jacob? Leon Drysdale? It's not Leon Drysdale, no, not in the playoffs. That usually goes to the winner of the Stanley Cup's MVP. Ethan, saw your hand next. I believe it's Nikolai... V- uh, I can't pronounce the last name. Um... Hey, I'll save you the trouble. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy, you want to give it a guess? Is it Andre Vasilevsky? It's not Andre Vasilevsky. Not the goalie. It was a defenseman. Victor Hedman had the third most points in NHL playoff defenseman history, and he won the Conn Smythe. So, Ethan, sticking with you. Category and point value. Bubble breakdown 50. Bubble breakdown for 50. Who led the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs in points? Not as a defenseman, but just as points. Jeremy. Alex Korn. Not Alex Kalorn. Ethan? Anders Lee. It's not Anders Lee. Jacob, you want to give it a guess? Uh, was it Kucherov? It is Nikita Kucherov with 34 points for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So 50 points to Jacob there and choice of category and point value. Um, I'll do women in sports 50. Women in sports for 50. Who became the first woman to call the NBA Finals? Jeremy, your hand. Doris Burke. It is Doris Burke this year. She called the Heat versus the Lakers in that ongoing series, and she is the first one. Jeremy, 50 points to you. Choice category. Women of sports, 100. Women in sports for 100. Who became the first player to win the MVP with two different teams in the WNBA this year? Yes, Jeremy. Brianna Stewart? It's not Brianna Stewart. She's been with the same team for her career. Jacob. Sue Bird? Not Sue Bird either. She has switched teams, but has not won the MVP with numerous ones. Ethan, you want to give it a guess? I don't know. The answer, Elena Della Don in 2015 with the Chicago Sky and in 2019 with the Washington Mystics. So, Jeremy, choice category and point value sticks with you. I believe there is 25 left in the, fin- in the We Are the Champions. And actually, I think that's it. No, 25 left in women in sports as well. Oh, 25 and We Are the Champions. We Are the Champions. Who won the 2020 Super Bowl MVP? Ethan, your hand. Patrick Mahomes. It is Patrick Mahomes. 25 points there. So we will do the last... Uh, category in question here for 25 points in women in sports. What women's soccer team won the most recent FIFA World Cup? Jeremy. USA. It is the US of A. The US women's national team won that one. Unfortunately, that concludes our matchup tonight on So You Think You Know Sports. And it's going to be Jeremy Goldstein with the win today. 425 points for him. Jacob came in a close second at 410 and Ethan rounding it out at 385. So Jeremy takes this one in a, in what proved to be a very, very close match, actually. One question could have shifted it for anybody. I know it seems like a lifetime away, but don't worry, we will see you in two weeks. So just take a little time, relax, and make sure to come back two weeks from today uh, for, you know, another enticing matchup. Special thank you to everyone behind the scenes who made sure that this week's show went on, and have a great night. We'll see you in two weeks right here on So You Think You Know Sports.